subscribe right now. Hey, how y'all doing? What's going on? Yes, honey, I am back. I am back. Did I surprise you? Yeah. So, um, happy holidays. Next week is Christmas. Are y'all ready? So, Chris Brown's new baby mama lies about being half black. Ain't that it? Everybody want to represent black, right? You know, I see so many people on Instagram, on um, YouTube that are not African American, but they be like, yeah, girl. And, you know, they doing the character of the black woman to get views and attention you know what I mean <laughs> how y'all feel about that it seems like um it's uh, shit it's it's a trend all in its own because what is it because hip-hop or because comedians may because uh, I mean when you look at the trending comedians they definitely make fun of black women you know so Shit, you see a lot of it, so now it's spreading on to different races, and they're doing it all in the name of fun or in the name of I'm just being cool, I ain't taking all that. You know what I mean? But, um, girl, honey, but like I said, it's it's not, to, I don't know, it seemed like they don't respect African American women. You know, they don't care about African-American and the, the, the struggles and the things that we go through. It's only to be seen as cool because it's trending, you know. Um, but please don't get it confused because, you know, I think some black people do. They get it confused like, oh, she down. Yeah, she a real one. Uh-huh. Yeah, girl. Uh-huh. And they, they laugh at it and they think it's cute, okay? And maybe it is cute to you, you know? It's whatever. But I don't know. I don't like that bullshit. Don't you come to me acting out. Nope. You better act towards me just like you're going to act towards uh, Billy, okay? <laughs> don't be doing that bullshit. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. So this is uh Chris Brown's baby mama. They said that she said that she's half black, but they saying that she's lying about that to get clout. And we definitely got to show you guys the pictures. You know, I remember when I was in elementary, not elementary, but um, like uh, before high school, you know, I went to um, a school with mostly Caucasian people. And uh, some of them, when I first got there, they was like, so cool. The first conversation they wanted to have with me was about rap. What's your favorite rapper? You like that new Tupac joint? I'm like, I don't listen to Tupac. You know, and it was like pressure. I was expected to be this cool person that knows so much about rap. And that was a damn stereotype because I didn't give a fuck about a lot of rap. At, you know, shit, I still don't. And, um, sh you know... I, black people, it's more than hip hop and a goddamn beat. Okay, black people, it's more than just sports. Okay, I don't think that shit cute. I don't like that. Uh uh, nope. <laughs> don't come with me with no stereotypes. So anyway, um, this is the baby, a uh, baby Akio, you know, and um, this ain't they ain't the baby precious. Yeah, this is Chris Brown's baby. So this is make his second baby, you know. Check it out. I know some of y'all thinking, you know, a couple of years back that, you know, Chris Brown was going to be married and do the whole thing. But no, nah, girl, he had his babies by side chicks or by thought boxes or, you know. But people say he don't like um, black women. Yeah, that's what they say. So um, let's check it out here. You guys can see the article. Chris Brown's new baby mama lies about being half black. Do you think it's a problem or you think people being too sensitive? It says uh, uh, Chris Brown announced um, that he and his black Asian, black Asian girlfriend, uh, Mika, Harris welcome a baby into the world. The world celebrated their bundle of joy alongside Chris and his news newest baby mama. Okay, so this is his newest latest baby mama. Okay, she's gorgeous, whatever, whatever. Who cares? So, um, but word on the street is that Amika is not who she claims to be. Anika 
holds herself out black agent according to the instagram profile she claimed to be black asian and carotid indian heritage she don't look like no indian to me but you know what do i know you know but um i was looking for the india so anyway but according to new social media report anika neither those things are is really a hundred percent asian okay she's really they said she's really asian all right um so only pretends to be half black for clout and that's a lot of stuff going on right now you know it's trending it's cool to be it's almost like wearing a trend shoe you know it's just cool to be at this time but what's gonna happen when this trend dies out because i mean that's life everything trends die out you know that right they're on a the rise and guess what 10 years from now they're, they're dead they ain't dead no more right so uh, shit i don't know what how can you solve it i guess my only solution right now i'm not thinking straight is if african-american people take their self more serious if it's not all about jokey jokey and comedians if we don't you know because they're at the forefront the comedians the entertainers the people that do it for front clout for african-american the reality stars because half of their life and half of what they do on social media is for clout they are at the forefront of black representation when people that don't know black people you know the first thing they probably see is reality shows or hip-hop or athletes or you know comedians you know and that's what they see and that's what they know so you know i guess black people gotta rise up in political in government in office pass some good laws and you know i see a lot of women doing that especially here in atlanta so big ups to them keisha bottom we need more women and more black people to take a serious stand so they can take it more serious you know because right now it's just for a good entertainment and a good laugh so um According to this report, both of her parents are allegedly thigh. Uh, the report says, Woo, that made me think about this thigh food. Oh, they got some big old jumbo shrimp. So the report says further that Anika is a fraud and that is in order to help cover up her little black lie, she started calling herself Anika Harris to sound more black. The report also adds that Anika alleged transracial identity is partly a result of her obsession with Chris Brown, longtime ex-girlfriend Karuchi Trans. And let me just say this and how y'all feel about it. I'm tired of y'all keep saying, oh, well, if uh, she dating a black man, she can't be racist. Oh, that's bull crap. I know so many people that are racist and they still full of stereotypes on how they view African-American people. But guess what? They love and they have a fetish for black ding dong. Okay. And that's all they see these black men is for a sexual uh, fetish. Okay. Yeah. How about that? Anyway, and they want to hire them to be their goddamn chauffeur. They want to hire them to be their assistant. And they think they're giving back to the damn community. Well, how I'm racist. That my assistant is black. Yeah, that sounds just about racist, sis. Okay? Back in the day, them slave owners, they, they loved, some of them loved themselves some blackness too. But they was not standing up for blackness and they wasn't fighting on a battlefield for their freedom. They was ke still keeping them slave, you know. So, I don't know. I, I guess you do have a, a boundary. You have people that are extremists that just don't like to be around them. Then you have people that tolerate them. And then you have people that... um. You know, they see them as a fetish or they see them as, you know, ooh, they're fun, but I really don't respect them as a whole. You know, it, it, it's that funny shit. You know what I mean? So it's that sometimey. Sometimey I like you because you're cool, but it's only because you're cool. You know, you can't just be a regular damn person, okay? You got to be cool. You got to be athletic. You got to be talented. You just can't be regular. So anyway... Now, what's going on with the beat? Okay. So, and here are some receipts, including their daughter birth certificate, which shows Anika real name and her pics, pictures of her parents. Okay. Okay. So that's a real name. You know, I can, Akia, 
Cortez. I don't know. So anyway, uh, check that out. Check that out. Check that out. Nope. I ain't even gonna try. Nope. Uh-uh. So, um, I guess those are her parents. Okay. There you have it. Heart and soul, dad and mom. Well, shit, y'all can't... Uh, shit. Well, I guess everybody got a little bit. Some black people. Didn't Trina say she was Asian? Or she was mixed with something? And maybe she is. I don't know. Hell, be who you want to be. Identify how you want I don't care. Shit. I mean, what, what, what ethnicity can I be? Okay? <laughs> Let me find out what I can clout for. All right? It's a mess, ain't it? <laughs> so, um... Yeah, here we go. All right, there you go. There you go. Comment. Let us know what y'all think about this mess. And I'll see y'all sooner than later. Bye.